In Loudoun County, we've been dealing over the past two weeks with reports that there was an alleged, alleged sexual assault at a high school in May um, and that this individual was then allowed to transfer to a school, a different school, um, where he allegedly committed a second sexual assault in October. Um, it was the same person and, you know, we heard from the school board and the school system last week that they had no specific details of this incident until uh, news reports and we parents we had a press conference and said you know listen the, the fact that you said you had no specific details doesn't tell me that you didn't know well today we found out that in fact the superintendent emailed the entire school board on the day of the incident back in may that a sexual assault in a bathroom had occurred despite that the superintendent of loudon county public schools on june 22nd at a school board meeting stated unequivocally that he was unaware of any records of sexual assaults in bathrooms it's clear now that this was done to pass a policy that would you know allow uh, biological males to use bathrooms because they did not want that policy to be derailed. And so why would they, wh why do they want this so badly that even when in the face of evidence of everything you were working so hard to prove and to make a point of and you were treated unseriously, why in the face of this evidence do they still want this policy so badly? Because I, I think they believe that they know what is best for everybody. I don't think they view themselves as representing a constituency as public servants. I think they view themselves as political servants, serving a political ideology and special interests here. And this is the unfortunate result of that. Do they not care about young girls or are they so, is, is it something about their ideology that blinds them to it? I think it's probably their ideology that blinds them to it, but the fact of the matter is that they knew about this and they still did nothing to stop an individual from going into a different school with an ankle monitor when his case was pending in Loudoun County Circuit Court. And, you know, the superintendent lied in front of the entire country because that school board meeting became national news and the individual that was arrested and became the face of, quote, domestic terrorism was this girl's father. I mean, this is a major scandal that should wake up everybody in America to the people that are running your school system. Is this the beginning of the end for the education establishment here in Loudoun County? You know, I would think so. I'm not sure how they're going to be, able to be able to extract themselves from this. It doesn't matter if you're Republican, Democrat, Independent. Everybody should be infuriated at what happened at Loudoun County Public Schools over the past several months.